Hello, hello, hello. I'm waiting for Paul again. In the van, we are going to the horses and to the public library to do the internet. And we have been away now for more than two days. We had to do some work on the house and stuff, getting work done. Finally clearing all of this out now. Clearing all of this up now. And when I was under the shower, there was a very large centipede. And I was like, oh my gosh, a worm, a, a leech. And then I looked closer and then I saw, oh no, that is, that's a centipede. He has thousand feet. We call him thousand Füßler in Germany. Thousand foot insect. Oh, that was nice. I just saw one, one, one. Nice. That was a kiss from the blue god. So and and I and I thought thousand foot. You got hot water on you that's not good and and he was all drenched in water and so i turned the shower off i took the strainer <laughs> that is in the middle of the shower i have this really nice stainless steel framed rubber strainer that goes in there and that sits in there loose and one can take this off anytime and clean the whole thing. It's very nice and the strainer thing, the rubber strainer in the middle is very easy to clean and I took this and I ha handed it over to the centipede and the centipede went onto that strainer and then I put that centipede on the rug outside, on, the, on my foot rug in front of the shower. <laughs> that food truck has lots and lots of those noppies. And so the sandy paint had to go over those noppies. But he was getting dried by those noppies like a towel. So that was good. So and then I thought, okay now I will take a shower and then I will get ready and then I will take the centipede out, but I couldn't find the centipede. So I'm making a video. <laughs> I couldn't find the centipede anymore. I I gently broomed under the cabinets and got a lot of leaves and spider webs and all kinds of things out there. And I broomed my bathroom tiles but no centipede anymore so I don't know where the centipede went I have no idea I looked into all the cabinets and underneath everywhere I don't know I had the feeling that when I, while I was taking shower that I would not find the centipede so very large animal like this long this long and as thick as my little finger, okay, and all black, and with, I don't know, how many feet, maybe not a thousand, but I look like 200 feet or something. <laughs> so they go into crevices and then they, they, they go completely into a crevice all the way the, with the entire length into the very corner underneath the cabinet probably and then they stay there so and I don't know how he gets food or anything I don't even know what they eat so there's nothing to eat there in the bathroom I need to find that centipede and bring it outside maybe where the compost area is that would be perfect so, right, well that, that was my experience today. I always have some kind of interesting 
animal experience going on and the next time I find a very large banana slug that is eight inches <laughs> long <laughs> just like a banana is you know and and it has they have spots just like the banana that's why they're called banana slugs they are very huge. They are amazing and they can get like this thick. <laughs> they are amazing. Really, really amazing with these tentacles. And I love to have them on my hand. They have, they have like a, like, feels like Elmer's glue you know, that they leave behind on my hand very sticky stuff that you can glue something with that that's amazing that the kind of glue stuff that comes out of those so but i guess it must serve a purpose for some for something you know so maybe insects get stuck on that and then they go back and they eat the insects i saw them they eat anything they're scavengers. They also eat dead banana slugs or dead insects and slugs and anything. Frog, I guess, dead dead animals in general. That is what they eat. So and mosses and they also, when you have them on your hand, and they start to nibble on the skin when they are searching for something to eat. They eat skin cells that come off or something so you can feel it you can feel the mouse underneath scrape 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 and you scrape a little bit but it doesn't hurt they just scrape off like excess skin particles and stuff like that so but it feels kind of nice <laughs> I love those. So anyway, I hope Paul is getting ready now to go. Take care. Oh, before I go, we have to end the rodeos. Very, very important. The rodeos have to be completely abolished worldwide. Very important. And factory farming has to be abolished. Very, very imp important fishing hunting all of this needs to be abolished okay the agi robots are coming i have absolute faith in the agi robots so take care peace and love for all living beings <laughs>